right, welcome back. Let's try this again. More restrictions in Scotland. Joining us live from Scotland is Caroline Kennedy. Caroline. Hello, Alma. Can there you, you go. Now? <laughs> <laughs> I <can>. Hello. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Caroline. <laughs> so we have some new limitations within Scotland and some new rules concerning the social distancing and the gatherings that have come to surface within Scotland as the COVID-19 cases continue to rise with positives. The new regulations have come into reinforcement restricting groups of people to mo no more than six people from two different households. This change within the number of people able to gather together also applies to outside um, gatherings as well, such as within gardens, homes, pubs and restaurants. Before the new law came into action, the number of those gathered together were able to become eight from three different households for indoor activities. The maximum number for outdoors were from five households, meaning 15 other people were able to join together. Although there are some new restrictions going around about the gatherings for those within a household, the law does not apply for children under 12 years old. The law was introduced as England had made similar moves also the last coming week. Despite the new action that has been taking place, more than 1.5 million people within Scotland are facing an even stricter uh, even stricter part of local lockdown that is being reinforced in Greater Scotland and the Greater Glasgow area. The people within Glasgow City, Lanarkshire, East and West Dumbartonshire, Renfrewshire and East Renfrewshire are all in lockdown and are not able to meet people within their own households. This is due to the spike of positive cases for COVID-19. Police Scotland stated that it would reinforce the law if required for reinforcement were to take place. Deputy Chief Constable Malcolm Graham said, the Chief Constable has made it clear that we are asking people to take personal responsibility and to do the right thing. And remember the purpose of these measures is to aid collective and effort to stay safe, protect others and save lives by preventing the virus from spreading any further. He continued to say that the office officers would be engaging with the public and informing them of the legislation and of the guidance and encourage within compliance. He furthermore added, we will use reinforcement as a last resort where there is clear breach of the legislation. Back to you, Alma. All right, so what does the rule of six mean for the ordinary person in the street or man in the street? So Alma, from Monday today, a maximum of, maximum of people from two different households will be able to gather together, as I mentioned earlier. This also applies to pubs and restaurants where customers are required to wear a face mask indoors when they are not eating and drinking. But then these limitations do not apply where there are those who are in other specific sector specific guidance is like the pl in places like the gym, childcare and organized sports and there will be some other limited expectations from larger households, education and places of worship. Back to you Alma. All right, thank you very much Caroline for your time. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for ha having me. I'm Caroline Kennedy reporting here from Scotland. We live in interesting times.